And then just to round up in terms of Super Eagles news, as I mentioned, AFCON draw, the Africa Cup of Nations draw is in eight days time. So it's going to happen on August 17th. So I'll touch on it in the next episode of the podcast next week. And I'm hoping to get a bit of a round table to discuss our draw once that is done, over and done with. World Cup qualifiers around the corner as well. So that would be coming starting at the start of September. Our first game is at home to Liberia, probably on the 1st of September. And then on the 5th of September, we've got probably our most difficult tie of the of the group stage, which is away to Cape Verde. Cape Verde are a very, very, very good team and we cannot take them for granted. So we'll be on the lookout for the Super Eagles list, which should be released in about two weeks' time or a bit further from that date. Um, and Leon Balogun better remain on that list. Um, so in terms of anyone wondering why I said that, Leon Balogun gave an interview to the Beautiful Game podcast where he just spoke very candidly and refreshingly about some of the thing, issues with the national team in terms of a lack of a national team base and adequate pitches for the Super Eagles. You know that all those people in Nigeria that care so much about respect will be yawning nonsense about, oh, is he being disrespectful? But we don't care. We want our players to want the best and to get the best because they deserve it. Super Eagles is one of the few things that unites the whole country. So if they cannot get that right, then that's not good enough. So I'm glad to see Leon Balogun speak out. And honestly, it made me so happy. So we want to see Leon Balogun remain on that list. In terms of updates from the Super Eagles over the summer, since the last podcast, we played three friendly games and did not do well at all. We did not score a single goal. So we played Cameroon twice. We drew 0-0 and we lost to them 1-0. Um, and then a team of home-based players went to America to play against Mexico and lost 4-0 resoundingly. So that was disgraceful. And we didn't make the Olympics football tournament for the men's team or the women's team either. So yeah, a lot to improve on going forward, especially with the World Cup qualifiers and the serious business around the corner. In terms of ones to watch over the weekend, Kelechi Anacho, number one. Hopefully we see him in the starting lineup as Leicester resume their Premier League assault. Um, and we want to see him build on his exceptional season last year. Also, we want to watch out for Franco Yeka making his Premier League debut against Arsenal on Friday. We expect this to catapult him straight into the Super Eagles squad if he starts and plays well. The Watford lads, of course, Ekong, Etebo and Emmanuel Dennis all making their Premier League debuts. Big season ahead for all three of those lads and we wish them all the best um, in their debut on Saturday. Terran Mofi, he's playing on Sunday at home to Monaco. So we're hoping he can score his first goal of the season in that fixture. Well, I think that might be Friday night, actually. And then Taiwa Awoni, his season starts in the Bundesliga on Saturday at home to Bayer Leverkusen. So we'll be watching that, keeping tabs on all five of them. And that's it for this episode of the podcast. I'm very, very glad to be back. You know, it's always a pleasure to give these updates on the Nigerian football team and our players. Please make sure you subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen to your podcast or on the YouTube channel. And remember our social media channels at NFWPOD. Um, or our email address as well, nigerafootballweekly at gmail.com. Um, literally, nigerafootballweekly on Instagram, nigerafootballweekly on Facebook, nigerafootballweekly on YouTube. Um, we appreciate every single listener, and we're going to keep this consistent as we've done last season. Woo! New season is back. Thank you for listening, and see you next time. <laughs>